Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and welcome back to another World Cup special video. Um, yesterday I did a 9 hour live stream where I was trying to open up as many packs as possible to get every single player in the game. I spent 6.3 million coins on the game and I got every player apart from 11 players um, but I've still got every single European player that is high rated that I need for this squad. So this is the bench and this is just random players basically that are, um, that are pretty high rated and pretty good. But before we get into the squad guys, make sure if you want to buy some ultimate team coins to open up some packs on the new world cup add-on make sure you go and check out ufifa.com and use my discount code eghd if you buy coins on ultimate team it transfers over to the world cup game so don't worry about that also guys i asked you guys on twitter if you'd like to see some gameplay and because this is on my pc which is basically like xbox 360 gameplay or, or ps3 you guys said that it doesn't really matter and also when i record pc gameplay the, the actual gameplay gets a little bit choppy, so I don't really want to make that onto YouTube. Maybe if I live stream, I'll do it, but not onto YouTube. I don't really feel comfortable putting gameplay onto it. I've played a few games with this team, and it was pretty, pretty, good, pretty good to be honest. Um, so without further ado, let's get started with the goalkeeper. And you could have either one of these two really. Uh, you'd get more chemistry with Casillas, but Neuer I think is the better goalkeeper. It's up to you guys, um, wh whichever one you choose. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, 87 diving, 81 handling, 91 kicking, 86 reflexes and 82 positioning. Pretty standard stats for an 86 goalkeeper. First centre back is going to be Sergio Ramos. As you can see, 80 pace, 83 defending, and 87 heading. I also forgot to mention it's kind of weird doing a squad builder without mentioning how many, uh, how much they actually cost because the World Cup game there is no transfer market. So I'm going to be releasing a video later as well talking about the fact that I think there's going to be no transfer market in FIFA 15 and obviously why I think that. But anyway, next player is going to be PK, 86 rated as well, just like Sergio Ramos, also from Spain. So this is why you get more chemistry with Cas. Casillas, um, as you can see, uh, pretty decent stats. He's got 62 pace, he's got 86 defending and 81 heading. Very solid uh, defender, very good in the air as well. I, th I think if you compare him to Sergio Ramos, obviously he's slower, so uh, that's the downgrade but or the downside to him. But he is a lot stronger in the air and just generally quite a strong player. The next defender, as you could probably tell from me picking the other two is going to be Vincent Company, 86 rated also so they're all the same rating so far. He's got 75 paces at an upgrade to his pace basically, he's got 86 defending and 82 heading which is ridiculous and so far I've just loved this game, It's I actually prefer, no, don't hate me, but I actually prefer opening packs and getting my own players as opposed to just going out and buying them. It's just my opinion, obviously if you haven't got a lot of coins you'd favour uh, having a transfer market. But let's go into the next player guys, we'll, we'll go into the left uh, mid position which we're going to have Frank Ribéry. Now I actually managed to pack him after spending about 300k coins um, and I had a couple of duplicates of him, that's the only downgrade or the downside to this, uh, you know, having no transfer market, you have to discard a lot of players. But he's played two games, he only scored one goal, uh, as I said I played two games with this team and they were just absolutely amazing. Uh, he has 90 pace, 5 star skills as well, 82 passing, 89 dribbling, he has had a downgrade from 90 overall from normal ultimate team. So, um, if you compare them, he he, should, he would be a little bit worse, but to be honest, in this World Cup game, it's just a different feel and I think he's awesome. Next player is going to be Iniesta, 89 rated player, the highest rated player so far. 75 pace, 72 shooting, 91 passing and 91 dribbling. And you know what, I'm actually going to bring in the other player because they work together. It's going to be Xavi and these two together in the World Cup game are much better than Ultimate Team. I feel, especially Iniesta, um, his finesse shots and, and his dribbling, his passing, it really does make a difference. You really, I, I love the passing in the new World Cup game. Let me know what you think about the, you know, the gameplay, the speed of the gameplay and the passing. I think it's fantastic and players like Xavi now almost people actually want to buy him or not, not buy him, actually want to use him in their team because they are actually worth it, if that makes sense. Um, next player is going to be in the right mid position. And who do we have in the right mid position? Ah, oh, no, no, it's a right wing. I was getting confused and I was like, where's my player gone? Have I been hacked? No, seriously. Anyway, let's go over to the right wing position. Now, you could move him to right mid, um, but in this position, he still gets um, full chemistry because he's got Spanish players surrounding him, basically. And he's got 78 pace, 78 shooting, 86 passing, and 89 dribbling. Um, so he has had a downgrade. I think he was 88 in the cam position on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, uh, regular mode. But he's gone to the right wing position, so he's had a little downgrade. But his stats have actually stayed the same, I believe. Um, great player. Um, obviously not as good as players like uh, Ribéry on the other side. But he's still a, a great player nonetheless with awesome dribbling. Now... Let's move into Aryan Robin. 92 pace, 85 shooting, 80 passing, and 92 dribbling. Let's see how many goals he scored. He didn't score any goals, but he was just so good. Like, um, 
he has lost skill moves. He's gone from four star to uh, three star skill moves, which is a shame. So you can only do things like roulette and uh, very basic skill moves. But even with those skill moves, he is awesome. His shooting is great. Um, his, I think he's had an upgrade. Has he had an upgrade? His overall has gone down, but I think his stats have had an upgrade. That's that's what's happened, I think, from doing my top 10 videos on the, on the stats. But he's an awesome player, and he's going to get perfect chemistry with Van Persie here. As you can see, both from the Netherlands, both from Europe, 76 pace, 89 shooting, 82 passing, and 86 dribbling. And I've used um, uh, Robin Van Persie in normal Ultimate Team. And I didn't really like him. I felt he was a little bit too weak. But in this World Cup game, I feel like they've taken out the strength a little bit, a little bit more, and uh, the pace doesn't mean as much. Although obviously it, it still means quite a lot. But his shooting, his shooting is incredible. Like you could just from pretty much anywhere you can shoot with this guy because he's got long shooting and he's also got finishing as well. So uh, very, very good player. Got two goals in two games, um, which isn't amazing. Uh, I haven't gone around every single player, but. Um, I was kind of like experimenting, and this is the PC gameplay, so I'm used to the Ignite engine on the on the current gen, which is uh, Xbox One. Um, last player, guys, is going to be Ronaldo. Managed to pack him pretty much straight away, which was really lucky because obviously he's the he's the best player in the game, but he's the second highest rated player in the game behind Messi at 94. He's got 93 pace, 90 shooting, 79 passing, and 91 dribbling. And to be honest, in this position, uh, I found it hard. Not found it hard, but I didn't get it to him as much as I liked. But he got an assist, and he also got a goal. Um, in these two games that I did play, he's got five star skill, four star weak foot. I mean, do I need to say anything about him? If you listen to every single person on Twitter, or if you watch any other squad builders, they'll, they'll show you how amazing this guy really is. He is just incredible, and in this game, he's even better than normal ultimate team. Um, lastly, last thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the manager, who's going to be Spanish. It's best to choose a Spanish one because there's a Spanish. Uh, the, the most nationalities there are on this uh, team is Spanish players. There's actually five Spanish players, so that's best for that. So I hope you enjoyed this squad builder, guys. I um, also want to mention there will be uh, things called I Man of the Match cards, which basically means International Man of the Match cards. That will be coming out on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, and when they do come out on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, they will also upgrade to these cards automatically. So let's say Ronaldo gets one, he'll go from like a 92 to a 93 or something like that. So the highest rated players might actually change because an 84 might go to an 87. I really don't know how it's going to work from EA, but hopefully this stays the best European team. And uh, I played with this team a couple of times, didn't lose, and they were awesome. It was just too easy. Really enjoyed it. So if you want to buy some packs, make sure you go and check out ufifa.com. And uh, I'm pretty sure you can get a good team with 100k's worth. If not, 500k should do it. You should be able to get most of these players in those packs. Let me know what you got in your packs. And let me know what you think of the new gameplay on World Cup. Hope you enjoyed the video, video guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.